Hi, welcome to the new video um, I'm doing now of Graveyard number four. Um, this is the first stencil because I'm using the black of the background. So I'm cover the black up and do some work with the base white or with the opaque white. So I'm starting with a full white at the bottom and I'm trying to to go darker at the top. Um, I'm doing this because I'm using in the second step I'm using transparent blue and um, everything that's full white gets the full blue and everything which, which is not so white um, uses like the black as as a shading color. So this is the second stencil which is a gray. So now you have like a lot of details in like two minutes. So as you can see, everything that's really white now has like a very light baby blue. And at the, the top of the, the picture you got like really dark blue tones. And still you're just using one, one blue. And this is like a heat dryer. You can also use an, an hair dryer so that the surface is drying quickly, more quickly than just on the air. So this is the last white stencil. This is a full white. And uh, there are all the highlights that are in this picture. So as you can see you have like in three and a half minutes have a perfect background where uh, you can put like a reaper or stuff like like this to it or like zombies or stuff um, so you got a highly detailed and very fast to use stencil And this is like a two-part cloud stencil. Just cover up the background and then there's a highlight white for it. So now I'm um, going very near to the surface and I'm doing the highlights freehand again. But you can use the, uh, the pattern that was supplied by the stencil to guide you. So finally a moon.
so this is like the perfect background with the graveyard what you can add now is like a little bit more detail to the cloud and uh, finally some stars and then uh, this picture is, is really finished so you spent like four to five minutes to have this this much detail in the background if you look at the spider webs then this is really really good <laughs>